you know, what, what a lot of people actually maybe don't realize is that the the primary uh, optimization, or you know, the, the, really the thing we focused on more than anything with the Model S was safety. My kids are going to be in the car, my friends will be in the car, you guys will be in the car. We care deeply about safety and, and making sure that this is the safest vehicle in the world. If you look at some of the, the, the crash test videos, you can get a sense for how long the crumple zone is. And this is a really important factor in safety. Um, because we don't have an engine in the front where you're forced to have a short crumple zone or have the engine go through your chest, which would obviously be bad, we actually have a crumple zone that's about three times longer than an, a normal sedan would have. So it has a, a huge uh, length over which it can absorb the energy. And so if you're in a, a potentially disastrous situation like uh, you know, hitting a concrete wall or having a head-on collision, this is going to be safer and, and leave you in a better position than any other car on the road. And then in terms of side impact, uh, because we've got the battery pack and the floor pan, you've got this really strong, stiff, rectangular member in, in, at the base of the car. It's, it really is resistant uh, to side impacts. And this is the difference between life and death. This is a really big difference. <laughs> This week, CEO Elon Musk announced the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has given his Model S sedan the highest safety rating in its history of testing cars. When we did the roof crush test, um, in, in, it, it got to four times the weight of the car and then the machine broke. The thing that's supposed to crush the car broke instead of the car. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's when you know your car is tough. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Because it has a low center of mass with the battery pack and the floor pan, so the probability of a rollover injury is substantially reduced. You know, it's at least 10 times more likely for a gasoline car or a combustion engine car. It's in the name. <laughs> I mean, come on. It has highly flammable fluid. It's designed to burn. Um, and uh, there's, there's about 200,000 gasoline car fires per year in the U.S. alone. It's extremely rare for, for, for a Tesla car to catch fire. We uh, improve how the seat belts tension and how the uh, airbags deploy. So in, in these updates, if we figure out, oh, there's a slightly better way to deploy the airbags to improve the safety in a crash, we'll actually do an over-there update to improve the way that the airbags deploy or the way that the seat belt pretensions. If it sees that a crash is about to occur with 99 plus percent probability, then it will activate this, the seatbelt pretensioners and deploy the airbags, as opposed to uh, the, what the vast majority of cars do is the, the, they only, the vast majority of cars are only able to deploy uh, airbags when the crash is happening. And so that's, uh, that makes the airbag deployment a lot more violent, but if you can anticipate the crash, the airbag deployment can be much better than, than just impact. Authorities got a call of a Tesla sedan that went over the cliff. It was a tremendous drop, about 250 to 300 feet. What happened today? A devastating crash, but one that had a truly unbelievable outcome. This was, uh, this was nothing short of a miracle today that they survived. We really go to try to go the extra, extra mile with, with vehicle safety. Like there's a series of government mandated tests. What some companies do is they, they game the system. So they, they know where the, the side pole impact is going to be. They strengthen it right in that position. Tesla, we're like, okay, what is the weakest point in the car? Let us test it at that position. So it's, the actual safety is not fully captured in the tests because we anti-game the system. These are the actual NHTSA probability of injuries numbers. All top five cars the, with the, the lowest probability of injuries ever tested, all five are Teslas.